Breaking news. Oh my God, I spit on like it. Wait till you see this. Hold on. <laughs> news we have the sponsored purse for the practice tree shootout it's up to thirty six hundred dollars plus 100 percent of the entry fees so we're gonna have probably a four or five thousand dollar payout on a practice tree shootout this friday 7 30 p.m nasty speed and performance nasty racing headquarters you guys need to be there first link in the description below is the event page second link is going to be to the storm training day you guys need to attend our events We'll see you there. All right, guys, we're out here at Nasty Speed and Performance. We got a few things coming up. We've got a practice tree race. Uh, that is January 5th, this coming Friday. Damn, that sucker sounds bad. I wonder whose that is. I thought we only had badass cars in Betsy. Yeah. Must be one of our guys. Uh, who knows? Uh, also, though, March 2nd, Storm Rodeo. Be there, be square. If you're wanting to get into some storm work, March 2nd is the day. We're going to do a rodeo here. We'll show you guys how to do everything. Um, whether you're experienced or not, it's really good to come. You might learn something new. You might be able to help other people learn something new. Um, it's also a great way to get on somebody's list to go work, whether it be CJ, me, Dave, Anthony, John, whatever. Um, it's a great way to get to work. So. Come put some faces to names. Uh, come learn how to do everything. And you'll have a good time. Uh, they pulled up. Hey, that thing went up. What? How's it sound? Yeah. How's it sound? It sounds sick. All right, guys. We have a little bit to talk about in today's video. We got ourselves another street car, and this thing is pretty rowdy. I mean, it kind of hooked up. I didn't, yeah, it, it definitely dead hook and went Bleh. Yeah, like, do you hear it like yeah. lugging it down? I didn't, uh, I didn't put a lot of air in it. All right, so I get, we have a lot to talk about. What's going on, what is this? If you guys know, a while back I started posting up some stuff that we were selling some cars or trying to trade out some cars. Don't really do a lot of trading. This is the first car we've ever taken on trade, and uh, we are very happy with it. Alan from way up north, what state is that? Indiana, uh, Illinois. Uh, Illinois, right next to Indiana. Had this absolutely beautiful Corvette, was looking to get in something more of a race car. We had that silver four second LS1 turbo methanol. Really, it's just like, uh, that gets you head first, diving into what it's like, methanol, mechanical fuel pump, 16 volt battery. That is the perfect car to get used to running a race car because compared to something like this, it takes a lot more, it's a lot more labor intensive, a lot more manpower, and a lot more like little steps. Uh, so he said he wanted to do a trade. I said, listen, if you're down to do a trade, we're down to do a trade. When we got that car, it was running, but not running great. We made some modifications, changed some things. I learned how to tune on that thing straight up we got it wiped the tune out Devin Paul Powell Kevin Mullins uh, all these people helped me kind of learn the tuning side of it I was able to build a base map and uh, I remember the first time we took the car out it went like 50 feet and popped then it went like 90 feet and popped then it went like 150 feet and popped then it was going all the way down through then we were getting everything all dialed in and the car just kept going faster and faster and faster until it's up there running you know four seconds which I think is absolutely awesome Logan was driving it um, it was just a really good car for us and for our program we learned a lot but we were done with it. it it served its purpose and we wanted to get rid of it so I posted it up Alan commented up there willing to trade this Corvette and you know we love a nice black Corvette around here, especially a Z06, which is what this is. If you guys can't tell, if you guys aren't C5 aficionados. Um, so he hit me up and he said, hey, I had this car for like 10 years, sold to a shop that did a bunch of work, I bought it back, but really looking to try to get my boys into more of some race car stuff, and we love to trade. He said, not a problem. One of our guys, Mason, lives kind of up that way within three hours of him, which is way better than the 15 hour drive it was. And uh, he asked me to want to do a trade, and I said, yeah, let's do it. So. Absolutely blown away with how nice this thing is. Um, I guess we'll start front to back, head to toe on it. We'll pop the hood. Carbon hood. So it is a, it's a 2003 C5 Z06. If you couldn't tell, it has a Pro Charger on it. Could you tell it had a Pro Charger? I can tell. You could tell, could you tell it had a Pro Charger oh, on yeah. it? Um, this is really like our first, we've had some crank drive Pro Charger race stuff, but uh, as far as street cars, this is our first Pro Charge street car. Uh, pretty basic, it's F1X, so it's got the big blower on there. Air to air intercooler, runs on E85. It's a 427 cubic inch Mike Lallon racing engine. 
That's badass. If you can't tell by the rattling torque tube, it's got the same torque tube as the Silverback Z06. But instead of having a power glide, it's got a TH400, so you got three gears, which I guess is probably better for the uh, blower stuff, maybe to keep the RPMs a little bit higher, make more power. But badass conversion. It's got the ZR1 diff just like the um, Silverback does. It's on coilovers in all four corners, weld wheels, uh, Carlisle 15 inch conversion, TBM brakes. Uh, the interior on it is bad to the bone. It's got a six point cage just like the Silverback. This is essentially like the baby Silverback. I mean, dude, this is, it's its just a crazy build. Holly Terminator, it's got a 6.8 Pro Dash. It's got the B&M Pro Bandit Shifter. Like we said, it's got a 400, so it's a three-speed gate. Um, it's got a parachute on there. It's got your harnesses, and it's its done. It's done. Now, it did have an O2 go out as Mason loaded it in the trailer, so that's why I had to like rev it a couple times just to keep her going. But it is, uh, dude, this thing is sick. I mean, this thing is sick. It looks absolutely awesome. And uh, you can tell 427 inch motor on E85 with that blower, we make some big power. But it's a 100% real deal street car. Radiator, factory accessory drive on there. I mean, if you look at it up here, it's got a bunch of nice shit. I mean, it's very nice. It's got a uh, Innovators West uh, lower pulley on there. Dude, have you seen the side for lower pulley? The lower pulley is an actual dinner plate. It's got a whole ass dinner plate on it. Yeah, but the upper pulley. The upper pulley is also, also like. It's like your side salad dish, which we want that to be like, like, I don't even know what, what, what? A little teacup dish. A teacup, yeah, we want a teacup dish, and that's like where you put your salad, so. And I know none of you guys at home watching this video know what a salad is, because you guys are just a bunch of barbarians, Neanderthals that are eating just straight up raw meat. But that's why you're watching this channel, you know? I'll inform you what a salad is. I eat one a time or two. Do I eat a salad every once in a while? Yeah. Look at that, I gotta stay fit to fit in that race tech, you know what I'm saying? Oh, um, big shout to Alan. I told him to stay in touch with the silver car so we could see the progression of that because they said they're going to race it. Um, and they did some no prep racing with this. Threw in a set of radials with it. I mean, it's just uh, it's just a solid, it's a solid car. I'm very excited about it. Mason, what do you have to say? I love it. I love the street car stuff way more than the race car stuff. So I'm super stoked on this one. Never messed with a pro charge car before. I really haven't messed with you too much either as far as like... Just like the street pro charger stuff. The crank drive stuff, I don't really consider like, it's a lot different than this. Yeah. But, it it's all, is it all one serpentine system? It's all just one big ass yes. belt? Yes, It's pretty cool, it's pretty wild. Just like your F body. No, my F body runs a, a separate one. I oh, I thought it was 10 rib the whole way. Everything. Oh. Uh, well, no, it's definitely not because it has that pulley that bolts onto the front. Okay. So, yeah, well, it actually, with all due respect, it is 12 rib, not 10 rib. My bad, my bad. How dare he try to take two ribs away from me? But this thing's nice. So, compared to the uh, like the Silverback Z06, which is a street car, but we don't really drive it on the street much, uh, it, it can go back and forth between methanol and E85, but it's got a manual steering rack. It doesn't have power steering. This has manual brakes. It's hilarious. The brakes feel identical. Very stiff yeah. pedal. Very stiff pedal. This is the whole setup from TBM. Um, the calipers and all that and the master yeah. and all that is set up from TBM. Yeah, so we have the, um, on the Silverback, we have the Strange Outlaw K-Member with a set of Strange brakes on there with a Strange Master Cylinder. And it's just got a very stiff brake pedal and this feels the same, but light cars throw a parachute on there, they'll stop good. Um, but no, very, very excited about this. It's on Holly, that's a big up. Uh, factory tank, that's a big up. Um, E85, that's a big up. I mean, it's just a, it's just a very nice build. And you hop in there and crank it with the key. It's got a nice little six point cage in there. Perfect street car. In the interior, looks sick. Car looks sick. And, got, and it's like Mason's dream car. Is one this of your, your dream car? One of your dream cars. It is one of them. Is it really? Yeah. He's been wanting a C5 Z06 for as long as I've known him. The only, I'm, so I hate just, to say it, the only thing, I want a six speed. You know, this car with a six speed in it would be violent. That was violent. Well, I mean, there. yeah, but imagine just, I mean, we think about like the Colorado with a five speed so, in So, after owning the Colorado, speed. which mind you guys, chill out, the giveaway will be announced next week. It's been the holiday season, I have to go through sweepstakes companies, all this stuff. Giveaway winner will be announced next week for the Colorado. Um, it's fun, but it's not usable power. The Colorado making 650, 700 is absolutely terrifying. This thing is scary, but with the automatic, you can drive it a little bit more. The 400 is pretty cool. Um, I'm interested to see, you know, we're going to obviously tinker with it, turn it up. It probably makes some good power now with that big blower on there, but I can't even imagine this in a manual. Honestly, I can't. Yeah, it, 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 I can't. Be ridiculous. I can't. Ridiculous. But yeah, I mean, this thing is it's badass. Super cool car.
well put together. Yeah. I, like I said, no, it doesn't have any known issues. So. Damn, has it got the little crankcase? Oh yeah, it's got the catch can. It's got the glow the motor, I've wrecked the car 9000 package on it with the catch can in front of the tire. A couple little things will tweak here and there, but for the most part, um, it's a little ugly underneath. You know, it's just um, some stuff. Do they double feed the rails. I hate double feeding the rails. See, so yeah, double feeding returns here. So I'm a. It's all four stuff. So I bet it's got a four fuel pump in there. Yeah. No, you're not buying four fittings if you're yeah, not doing yeah. the four. So I mean, it's got a badass, uh, badass fuel system for sure. Uh, but the. Um, I'm a big fan of just single feed the rail and it makes it look a whole lot cleaner. Like you'd come in back here, you'd go, you'd loop across and come back so you wouldn't see any fuel lines. But like, again, we're splitting hairs, we're nitpicking. The car overall is, is badass. I hope I'm gonna end this video, film a bunch of B-roll so we can put it over uh, us talking. But I mean, it's tough to beat. This thing is, we might have to car this car, call this car the sore dick, because you can't beat it. Alora, what's the name for this car? Hey, we need a name. Yeah, you gotta name the car. Look at her, look at her ride the Schwinn on over here. You just missed it. Oh, no. It's actually scary that she drives the side. Think of a good name. Good names take time. The names take time? Names take time. Yeah, Anything? we still have a name for my Camaro, actually. Do you wanna go show them your Camaro? No, it's not that. Oh, you can show it to him. Here, come on over here. Since we're talking about new cars, Alora got a new car. Big shout out to Lenore Auto Sales. My boy Colt out there hooking us up with a nice Camaro. Let's go show him. Come on, give him the grand tour. Come on, here we go. Here we go. Since we're just, it's new car day around here, I guess. All right, give him the grand tour. It's about to go over to Nasty Wraps and Tint to get uh, some tint done to it. Yeah. What are the specs on it? Me? Yeah. 2013 Camaro SS, it's got yeah. the 6.2 automatic transmission. It's got some fat boy tires on it, some like 305s. Aurora's out there just piping it up. Someone cut the mufflers off of it, so we're gonna give her a whole new exhaust. <laughs> and uh, it's kind of loud, but we'll, we'll make it a little bit loud, but maybe a better sounding exhaust than this. Yeah. We're going for quality, but uh, this thing's badass. My boy Colt over at Lenore Auto Sales. It's where I got my red Dodge from. He hooks me up with everything. If you guys are looking to buy a car, uh, buy a truck, buy anything, just hit him up and uh, he'll get you right, he'll get you right. So, uh, yeah, do you like this thing, Big Camaro Girl? I love it, actually. Are you out there street racing people or what? No, not yet. Be on the lookout. If you're in the Wilmington area, gonna get your ass busted wow. by her. Wow, exposed by Liz. I mean, Listen. Wilmington's large, okay? Okay. But, yeah. And we're gonna end this video off with an inspirational quote for Laura here. <laughs> Please stop. I hope something good happens to you today. That's a great story. That is, that, that's why we're ending it like that. You know so, what? you guys watching, I hope something great happens to you guys today. If you want something really good to happen to you, <laughs> you should go down and subscribe to this channel. And then you should attend all of our events. We got our Christmas tree, sorry, Christmas tree. We got our practice tree shootout going on next Friday night at 7.30 here. Uh, the first link in the description below will be to the event page for that. Second thing, first Saturday, in March, March 2nd, we're having our Storm Training Day Rodeo. So if you really want something good to happen to you, you should work for me on Storms and we'll put a lot of money in your pocket. So we're gonna end it off there. Look at that vet tire just wrinkled, dude. It's so wrinkled, I saw that earlier. Did you hear how loud it is? That thing's wild, ain't it? First opinion to that thing? I like it, it's clean. It is clean, it's, it's nice. nice. It's nice. I don't really, what is the noise that it makes? It's got the Pro Charger on it. It's just like the blow off valves, I was like shh. Yeah. Loud. It's like a desired. But it looks good when you flew by with the tinted windows. I was like, ooh. Yeah, it's just kind of tough. Isn't ooh, it? yeah. Nice. It's got a 400. We're gonna be driving that shit on the street. Thank you. Go ahead.